So basically, when we are healthy, our defense system is strong enough to deal with, um, uh, to deal with the free radicals. But when, for example, our mitochondria don't function properly and mitochondria start to producing excessive amount of free radical and now our antioxidant capacities are not strong enough to deal with all this amount of free radicals. Basically, we have imbalance between production of free radicals and our defense system. That is where we are starting to break down. And this is where the so-called oxidative stress occurs. So, oxidative stress is now recognized as an underlying cause of almost all diseases. Oxidative stress affects our brain in the Alzheimer's disease, for example, in Parkinson's disease, in multiple sclerosis, in ALS, in autism. Uh, also, oxidative stress is found uh, when we uh, get stroke, when we have high blood pressure, when we have atherosclerosis. Oxidative stress affects our kidneys, our skin, our joints. Our immune system, oxidative stress, is responsible for chronic inflammation, for autoimmune disorders. Oxidative stress is responsible for damaging our blood vessels. Oxidative stress is responsible for lung diseases, eye diseases. And I just want to prove a point is if you go to the um, any medical database today, for example, if you go to the Medline or PubMed and you type, um, for example, oxidative stress or free radical production or decreased mitochondrial function and name of a disease, just name any disease, you will get the papers already published about that topic. So, just to prove a point, here we have uh, one about mitochondrial DNA dilation, uh, oxidative stress and severe male osteoporosis. Here we have uh, one uh, uh, about oxidative stress and hypertension. Here we have uh, mitochondrial dysfunction in cancer. Then we have mitochondrial dysfunction in mac uh, immaculate degeneration. Here is the one about diabetes and there are many more articles uh, like this available out there. So basically, due to mitochondrial dysfunction, we fail to produce energy that is needed for sustainment of life and for growth of the organism. Injury of the cell or even cell death may result in uh, less production of ATP. And when this process is happening throughout the body, the whole system begins to fail. You may have mitochondrial dysfunction if, for example, you feel excessively tired, you have trouble walking or talking, you have gut or digestive issues, you have liver or kidney damage, you have difficulty to remember the, key, the, the things, that's question, oh, where are my keys? You have recurrent infections, you are sick, maybe two times per month. You have diabetes and other hormonal disorders. You have heart muscle disease or cardiomyopathy. We all have something of this. I would like to sum it up to, uh, um, uh, today what we have learned. So health is not absence of anything. It is the presence of something and then something is energy and you are as healthy as the amount of energy you can produce. If you're producing optimal amount of energy, you will be optimally healthy. What does that mean? First, you will have enough energy to perform all processes in your body. If mitochondria function well, you will be producing the minimal amount of free radicals. And if you don't produce excessive amount of free radicals, your cells won't suffer from oxidative stress and actually you will be healthy. So if you want to slow down aging, if you are uh, interested in not getting sick as you get older, if you are interested in feeling great and feeling young, 
then what you want to do is to concentrate on your cellular energy production right now. And our supplements will help you to do so. The more you boost your mitochondrial function, quality and quantity, you will be you will be you will feel better and you will grace uh, you will age more gracefully and think of our protocol as your um, anti-aging and pro-energy protocol thank you very much